what is the process of lung transplantation so in lung transplantation we take lungs from a cadaveric or deceased donor and implant them into the body of a recipient when you take out lungs from a deceased donor they have to be preserved because they are now out of the body they're not getting any oxygen supply they're not getting any blood so they're likely to get damaged to prevent any damage and to keep them healthy for the time that they are being transported from the donor hospital to the recipient hospital we flush it with some special kind of fluid and store it at a low temperature so that they remain healthy when they are taken to a recipient hospital the recipient chest is open recipients native lungs are removed and in their place these lungs are implanted the right one on the right side and the left one on the left hand side and then they start working in the recipient's body and the recipient improves with that we can do one lung transplantation which is called single lung transplantation or we can do both the lungs which is called double lung transplantation historically it started with single lung transplantation but currently most of the transplants are double lung transplants because it has been observed that the recipients tend to do better in the long run when they receive double lung transplant as i said the lungs come from deceased donors who are dead and therefore the relatives have decided to do organ donation or give the organs to other people and that's where this supply of lungs comes from.